Well, we're back. It's been over a week. What have we been doing? Well, you see the state of what it was, and um, that's taken quite a few grass cuts. And then this happened. This. So, um, we was collecting some rubbish yesterday, wasn't we? And I worked really hard. Got the van loaded up with all the rubbish and I'm sat here waiting for the, the tip appointment. So we had to wait half an hour. So I was quite happy to sit on the step. Ken was, no, 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 no. Do you want to keep me working? He says, I want to get a pole, get that pole out for me, get the pole back. So I went down there half-heartedly, throwing stuff about. Grabbed all of the pole like it was sword in the stone. Gave it a good old ball <laughs> and it came out and hit me right in the head. Now, I'm a baby. I mean, I took it like a boss. I mean, I was lucky, really. I mean, uh, I've got a got a head of steel, and uh, any lesser man would have probably been killed by the ferocity of the uh, the way the pole came out of the ground and uh, whacked me in the head. But you know, I carried on, no drama. But I do remember when I took my hands away. Isn't funny. I do remember when I, I took my hands away. And all I could feel was just leaking, going into my eyes, and I thought the worst. And you were crying, you big baby. Right, let's uh, show you what's been going on. So we, the green shed in the greenhouse have now gone. And here is where the greenhouse now sits, which is on the other plot, which is the one we're going to be giving back. And the greenhouse that was there is now there. And the little green shed is there. Ready for the tip. We had uh, obviously loads of rubbish. So well, here we go. No one can say I don't treat my baby to a day out. Where am I taking you? The tip. The tip. That's what I just said to Hannah. I just texted Hannah. She said, How are you? I said, oh, I'm going out to the tip with Dad. Woo woo! We've done two trips so far, so I should imagine I've got another, possibly one, maybe two. There's some wood there. Then once that's done, well, once that obviously rubbish is gone, and I get the glass back on the greenhouse, or what's left of the glass, um, then this one can go back. Happy days. So what we're planning to do up the top now. So this is going to be done in the next few weeks. We're going to be extending this shed by another six by six. Uh, quite lucky really, because obviously there's a, a good base already here. Um, so that's going to come out to here. And then I'm going to build a deck area. And I don't know whether to put a covered roof or a, uh, a bit of trellis over the top for Kim to uh, grow our plants. So this will be an open deck area and uh, Kim can do a little bit of potting up out here and once she's potted it out, potted it up can then go straight into the greenhouse and then from the greenhouse to the plot oh that's the plan so what we have here is a wheelbarrow now the strange thing about this wheelbarrow is It's not my wheelbarrow. I looked in the bed and thought, wow, that's gone very rusty and there's some holes in it. So I thought, benefit of the doubt, perhaps, you know, we've not been up for six odd months and that's what's happened. And I went to pick it up and I noticed that the, 
the gap between here was is a lot smaller. Mine's quite wide, you know, quite hippy. You know, quite hips in. And that was the, the, the other indication that got me working and uh, thinking. And then I try to push it, and that's when I noticed it's not the same wheel. Mine never had this. No, so there we go. Hey, at least they left me a barrel. Unbelievable. That is awful, by the way. What is? That. It's given it a good trim. It'll grow better next year. Uh, I don't think so, Debbie. I think it's awful. That's well, why you don't let me cut your hair. What, we're going to get one apple next year? No. Yeah, so I've got a little bit of strimming to finish off, uh, but the strimmer won't start. Happy days. So we're getting that. Looking good. Oh, a uh, bit of car parking space as well now. Remember I was going to turn this into a carport. Uh, obviously we're giving this back. And uh, that is where the, uh, the trusty van is going to be from now on. So. The grass has grown nicely over the beds. Nature's, uh, nature's blanket. So uh, keep the weeds off. Save me buying tarpaulin. We're completely renewing all this, revamping this. Um, so this is all coming down now. This is all coming out and I'll build a nice new one along there for the beans, the runners, whatever they were, peas, can't remember. They run the beans were over there, weren't they? Yeah. Yeah, and uh, this is where we've done the onions. Uh, rhubarb's coming on. Gone absolutely mad in strawberries. So we're going to pull them out later on. Not that you ever get to eat them. It's home time. What was that? Yeah? Have I worked hard today? No. Another good day and uh, we'll be up here tomorrow. Uh, so that a is a ladder. And a saw to get the top, tidy it round to the power. You cut my head the other day, you'll break my legs now. Uh, that's it. Signing off because I'm just too exhausted. You've been here since ten. Ten. What's it now? Three. Quarter past three. Quarter past three. Enough is enough. There's only so much you can do. So um. The trees had a haircut. Yes. So. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. See you later. I'm go home bed. We got one. And uh, we're going to extend the shed out by another six to eight feet. So we're going to have a nice big shed now uh, with maybe a uh, nice preparing area. So. Um, Kim, where the hell did she go?